Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 14th, 2024 from the Braddock Bay Hawkwatch. It was a sunny morning with light winds, so Kim and I started the day at Burger Park. As I pulled in, I watched this red-tailed hawk swoop down and grab some prey off of the ground. Here is one of my target birds for the morning. This is a golden-crowned kinglet. You can see that gold color on the forehead. And the golden crowns have a dark line through their eye compared to the ruby crowns, which have a more plain looking face. And the northern shrike is still around as well. And I also picked up red breasted nuthatch and swamp sparrow as new species for the season. We had a total of 24 species at Burger Park. Next, Kim and I headed over to the Braddock Bay East Spit. Here we have a duck with a green head and a really big bill. And we see a chestnut colored patch on the side. This is a male northern shoveler. There were around 20 or 30 galls hanging around and most of them were herring galls like this one. We picked up one new species for the season which was pied-billed grebe. We got word that some people had seen the Eurasian widgeon from the first parking lot of the marina so on the way out we stopped by and we did not see the widgeon but we did see these two male downy woodpeckers that were sort of fighting with each other and Kim got a cool video. From the east spit, we had 41 species today. I got over to the hawk platform around 10 a.m. to start the count, and you can see it continued to be sunny with scattered clouds, but throughout the day, it really clouded over, especially as we got into the mid-afternoon with some approaching rain. And the winds started out light, but throughout the day, they were increasingly strong from the northeast, which is an unfavorable wind. Out of the raptors today, this adult bald eagle definitely gave us the best look. Here's a black-capped chickadee perched up in a tree. I heard some rustling in the dried leaves on the ground and looked down to find this snake, which I believe is a garter snake. We had a small number of migrating turkey vultures today, and all of them were towards the parkway side, with that northeast wind off of the lake pushing them inland. We had a small number of tree swallows flying around today. They're the only swallow that's back so far. And you can see tree swallows are bluish green on top. You can see it here in the head and they're completely white underneath on the body. And here's a very distant photo of a sandhill crane. You can see that long neck and long trailing legs and sort of distinctive coloration. You can see the tan color here. So even in a really poor quality photo, kind of a distinctive bird. And here's a common raven that I photographed as I was getting back to the car to leave. Taking a look at the eBird report for the Hawk Watch, today we had 45 species. I decided to make a quick stop over at Frisbee Hill Park, and this is our alternate count site, and it's a spot we move to sometimes when the wind is out of the north or the northeast, and that lake breeze is pushing the raptors a little farther inland, so it gets us about a mile away from the lake shore. So sometimes if we're not getting raptors at the platform, you would catch some migrating over the park. Here's a view from the parking area as you start to walk down the road, and as you get up here, you keep to the left. Once you get through the tree line, you'll see straight ahead, there's a hill with a wind break up top. And that's usually where we stand, right up here. And once you get up on top, there's a gravel road that follows along the top of the hill. And I walked up that road a little bit. You can see the wind break here on the right. And this is the direction that we look. So we usually stand right up here near the wind break and look out in this direction to see the hawks that are coming. There wasn't much going on at Frisbee Hill. I only had 11 species. I had five new species for the season today, which were Golden Crowned Kinglet, Red Breasted Nuthatch, Swamp Sparrow, Pied Billed Grebe, and Belted Kingfisher. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 14 turkey vultures, two bald eagles, one sharp shinned hawk, and two red shouldered hawks for a total of 19 migrating raptors. That brings the March total to 779 and the season total to 937. And taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it's looking cloudy early with partial clearing later, high in the low 50s, and northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So northwest is a somewhat unfavorable wind, so I would only expect light migration. For Saturday, it's looking mostly cloudy with a high around 55. Winds west-southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. So that's a good wind direction. My only concern would be if they're on the lighter end of that, a lake breeze may kick in. As of right now, it's looking like in the afternoon, 
if the lake breeze does kick in, it's possible the west-southwest winds will become stronger and overpower it, so we could get another late-day flight. So we'll keep an eye on Saturday as we get closer. And for Sunday, some morning sun and increasing clouds, high in the mid-40s, and westerly winds at 15 to 25 miles per hour. So that's a pretty strong westerly wind, so we'll probably get some migration. It's not as strong as those really strong winds we had the other day where you get very, very little. So I would expect some migration, but it's going to be uncomfortable out on the platform with those strong winds. All right, well, after two really good days, we had a bit of a slower day today. That's very common as we are sort of at the mercy of the cycle of weather. When we have the good winds, we get a lot of birds, and when we have other winds, sometimes we don't see so many. Plus, we're still early in the season, but there's many more hawks to come here at the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch in the coming weeks and coming months, so I hope to see you soon. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.